Alright, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over how you can use Wave Traveler inside of FL Studio. Now, Wave Traveler affects the playback of a sample, so you can load up a sample to start editing with this button here, but I'm going to select a preset from up here, and I'll go off of that. So, I might just use this hum, and I'll hit C5. Alright. So you can see up here, just under where we've loaded up this sample, this is the wave preview panel. Now that, display, that displays the current sample and these yellow lines display what part of the sample we're playing, so it's just the first little bit. Below that we have the patch selector, so we can left click on this and bring up all of our patches. These are actually assigned to different keys on the keyboard, so if you've got a MIDI keyboard, that's pretty easy, but you can also just change it over here so so they seem to be pretty much this pretty much the same on this preset I'm actually load up something different so you can see clicking around um, these are loading up different patches so you can see up here it's changing the patches and it's also changing what's going on with these samples So over here, this is the scratch editor. So this scratch editor displays how the playhead will move across the sample. You can left click to add a new point and right click to change how the point works or delete it. Just add this new point and I can set what sort of um, line it's going to be. Be quarter cosine, tension, linear, that's just going to be straight. I can move it around to edit, but it won't go past the last one and you can see down here how it's affecting it I mean over here on the left so it's two different views it can get pretty confusing to be honest but you can after playing around with it for a bit you'll understand how it works and it becomes a bit more intuitive I'm gonna go over to this prat this patch and show you what this sort of up and down is gonna do So we can see down the bottom there's a little, there's some dark spots. These are muted sections. So you can right click and unmute or left click and mute. So you can do that how you please. You could have it fully. Or you could. Over here in the settings tab though, you can really control how the sample plays. So this is a start knob, so this changes where the start is for the part of the sample that you're going to be scratching. And then this is the end knob, so you can change that as well. And then you can see down here the part of the sample you're affecting in a different view again. So that's, if you sort of rotate it, you can see that the playhead's going to go up to here and then come back and then up to there and come back. But over here we've got the speed, so we can turn that down by turning it right, which usually is up, but that's making it take longer, and then faster here. So, and you can also right click on that to set it to certain lengths. Now this TA switches between a tempo based lines, sp splines, which are these, tempo based splines, and absolute speed based splines. So the absolute speed is these splines act, act as a percentage of the whole sample not of a, a tempo synced sort of cut so this is if you're using speed it's probably not going to sound as good in overall as tempo based then we've got attack and release just for sort of fade ins fade outs snap to grid you can change that there and then we can scroll between octaves on the patch selector or keyboard. Now that's about all you need to know for Wave Traveler. You can just mess around and create some pretty cool DJ scratch sort of effects, final scratch effects, pretty quickly and easily with this. So just like that. 
can unmute this. So yeah, it's pretty... Once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. It's pretty intuitive after a little bit of messing around with it. And you can create some pretty cool sounds, pretty realistic as well in some cases. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.